Thank you. Joan Embry has uh, another visitor here. Joan? Now, that I would not keep as a pet. Well, you know, you hear everybody go, oh, and you can just see how wonderful they look when they're babies. And she's five months old. Is this a she, mountain lion? It's a mountain lion, puma, cougar, or catamount. All That's named. all the same family or all the same animal. You right. can call it a puma. You can call it a mountain lion, But cougar. it's all the same, different names for the same cat. Native through Canada to Mexico and some left in Florida. There are not very oh, many of them left, me. although they do breed in captivity. And the problem is that people see them and think they want one, and they're going to grow up. She'll be over 100 pounds as a mature female, and the males get up to 200 pounds. And they've been in the news quite a bit lately because a young five-year-old girl... She doesn't mind this, does she? No. She's okay. pretty good yet. But she's also had daily training from the time she was a very young animal and with professional trainers... And she needs to be handled appropriately now so that she doesn't get rough. Because what starts out as play gets oh, she's to be staring, very rough. She's staring over here, right? Well, you have a remote control, right? Yeah, somebody told table. me about this. We're going to show you what happens because they still, even though they haven't been trained to do this, right? She, now, she was bottle-raised, hand-raised by people. She's never hunted. She's never lived in the wild. And I want you to see that the behavior is instinctive to hunt. And if you no. bring out... They gave me this remote control device. And mechanical if rabbit. If they'll set it out there. Now, if I move this... Chirpa. Huh? Chirpa. <laughs> this, this one's a killer. <laughs> Okay. Ready? Yeah. A born hunter. This thing would starve in the wild, Joan. What do you? I thought this animal was going to attack this. Uh... That's one of the problems, though. Is sometimes they do, and people think they can. <laughs> Look at that, Chuka. <laughs> had to drive the prey right under her legs for her. <laughs> well, she hasn't done this before. What do you I'll expect, try. folks? Uh, that they, they are unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do. She's trying to mate with it. She's not... <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Your first kill. <laughs> Okay. One of the problems yes. with them is that basically the instinct... They're also not used to seeing an animal on wheels either, I suppose. <laughs> in, in Most of your jungle prey they eat do not have little wheels. <laughs> yes, studio with an audience. Off. But if you think that you raise this animal and the answer is when you can't handle her anymore and she gets rough and takes a hold of you, those look, claws... Look at the claws. I don't know if you can see feet. what I see from here. Mm. On the right paw. A full set. And they can reach out and just rip you open just with their their claws if they want to. And she'll also get where she rakes with her back feet. You know, if you think the answer is just to turn it out into the wild, well, that really isn't the case because right. they don't always adapt back to a wild environment. Some people remove the claws to make them safe, right. and then they can never be a cougar. They can never yeah. be introduced with other cougars. It's a beautiful animal. Okay, we're going to take another break. We're going to come back. Then we have a rather large... Uh, Snake. Found in the backyard of San Fernando Valley. Your what? It was loose. We'll show you what, what happens when they get loose. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> 